All right. Hello, Greg Russell, NBC Detroit. Hi, What's Greg. Up, man? How are you guys? Good. Good. Detroit. I'm from Toledo. That's right. Right. We're right there together. Exactly. That part of the Midwest, kind of like suburban cities to each other. Yep. So, so this that could have been a place where going along with your movie, you could have left Toledo and came to Detroit for COVID. Oh, absolutely. For sure. <laughs> now, I just have to start out. Uh, it's almost like watching when I say a home movie, because we were all going through, as you know, just the weirdest stuff two years ago. Now, Katie, you wrote it, directed it, produced it. Uh, did I miss anything? Acted in it. Acted in it. Yeah, there you go. What? Where did this idea come from for you? Um. Well, I think that it was just the process of having time to be home to re like for me rewatching movies that I love Annie Hall Manhattan when Harry met Sally um a uh, woman uh under the influence just all of these yeah movies that I love um then sort of getting anxious and wanting to work and how do you do that in the pandemic um so it was like oh well we have to have a, con a contained Place. We have to have a small cast. So then thinking with that, well, what, what kind of story could you tell in that? So it was just like this process of how do you do this? And then I had also heard a lot of, as we all did, stories about people falling in love, pe stories about people breaking up. Um, you know, my father and brother are, are attorneys. They suddenly got very busy uh, with all of the divorces. And I was like, I don't want to tell that kind of story. I want to tell something that's hopeful and a story like I grew up on, like just happy ending. So um, then I zoomed with Jim. He had all of these ideas and it was like, oh, we wanted to, we wanted to create authentic characters. And, and so that's where, that was a long answer. <laughs> no. But it was we could have driven point. from Toledo to Detroit with that answer. There you go. <laughs> That'll be the next movie. Jim, get ready for that. Yeah, I'm, I'm, in, I'm all in. I've never been to Detroit. I would love no? to. Never. Oh my God. Detroit's never. amazing. Come on up. I'll give you a great tour of the city. You'll yeah, enjoy it. music comes out of Detroit. Some great music came out of Detroit. Yeah. Uh, absolutely. We'll take you to the Motown Museum then as well. Right, I'm, in. I'm in. All right. And then, you know, even in this movie, just think about your character. It, a lot of times, good stuff does happen by mistake. He thinks he's got the whole house to himself. Next thing you know, boom, he doesn't. And sometimes that is how the greatest relationships start, isn't it? Just by happenstance. Yeah, totally. I mean, that's what was so great. They're both completely off guard. You know, they're they're not. You know, they're they're not thinking in that way at all. And that's kind of when your barriers are down, and you just start to talk and spend time, and you kind of almost sort of resent that person at the beginning, and then you slowly kind of get to know them. And you know, that's what the movie does so beautifully: is just sort of watch this relationship unfold through conversation, through listening, through sort of spending a bit of time, just two people talking and, 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 and you know, self-reflecting and, and helping each other through that, that self-reflection. Yeah, so it was, it was cool in that sense and something I could totally relate to. Oh yeah, I think we all, you know, connected with old friends and people who we had known and even new people. And just, yeah. like, just I had a conversation seriously with a woman for 15 minutes in a grocery store about cheese. I didn't know this woman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what did you learn? What kind of cheese did you learn about is the important I learned thing. more about cheddar from her and she learned more about Swiss from me and also uh, New Zealand cheddar. So it was it was just weird. But, you know, you you found yourself doing stuff like that. And, people uh, were hungry for a connection, you know. People really yeah. wanted to sort of reach out. And, a collective experience means that people aren't just sort of strangers, you know. You're all sort of having something that you can all relate to. You know, you hear about those stories in war and wartime, and you know how people really connected through those times. And I think the pandemic brought a similar kind of energy in that way. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Thank you both very, very much. Uh, I'm going to watch the movie again. Like I said, it is. You just kind of watch it. You just see yourself in it. But thank you both. Thanks, and thank talk you. to you again very soon. Wait, and yes, can I ask? Can I ask you a question? Sure. What is it about New Zealand cheese that's different? It just has this different taste. New Zealand cheddar, as compared to um a lot of the cheddars I've had from here, it's really good. And you've got to get it kind of like at a specialty store. But if you get a chance, yeah, get some New Zealand cheddar. Okay, because well, sometimes I see it and I'm like, okay, so I'm going to do that. Thank you. You got it. And let me know what you think. Okay. All right. Take care, guys. <laughs>